What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and today I'm excited to talk about updated 2021 rosters for NCAA Football 06. As you can see here, I have a list of quarterbacks sorted by overall rating and at the very top there's Kenny Pickett from Pitt. In my opinion, the best quarterback in the country. Then you got Bryce Young in Alabama, then Matt Corral, and so on and so forth. And we're going to dive more into these rosters here in a little bit. But I want to talk about where these files came from. I will leave a link in the description below to this particular page. But Android has been converting NCAA football rosters from the PS3 games over to the PS2 games and PSP for a long time. And he does a really good job of doing that. And as you see here, he has the 2021 rosters for, again, 06, and he even has them for 11. This video is going to focus more on the 06 rosters, but he does have the FBS uh, roster file for 11 as well. You go down here, two zip folders. This zip folder has both FBS rosters for both of those games. And then this one, he even has an FCS roster file for 06. That particular file, if you scroll down, he updated these four schools, Appalachian State, Texas State, UMass, and West Kentucky. These are the schools that are in 06, but are now in the FBS side of things currently. So I just wanted to mention that. I will always leave a link to this page because this is the best spot for you to see what he may update. He may change something, update a file, whatever. He may even include... And he mentioned this down below, a possible dynasty mod. He's really good with that stuff. I wish I had the knowledge to do it. This is really cool stuff. That's where he can go in and update schedules and coaching profiles, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. Things like that. And there are a couple of other contributors who have been talking about this as well. I'm going to go to the fourth page. And I think it's on this page where another guy mentions, hey, I have worked a little bit on... A dynasty mod that type of thing so this is the most important page now what I want to show you is if you go to my site playbookgamer.com I'm gonna give you a couple other options so here's the site you go all the way down this is my main menu for everything I have to offer on the site well you go to useful links and you go to rosters I will provide everything else you need to look at I have three options. The best option is to download the files for free. If you run an emulator or if you got an action replay or max drive device, this is what I recommend. If you hover over this particular link underneath NCAA Football 06, there is the link to that page we just looked at. That's specifically for 06. I do not have the NCAA 11 roster file on here. I bring that up because... For those of you, the majority of you who use a PlayStation 2 to play these games, I have the memory card option. You can mail your card to me for a small fee, and I'll load up whatever files you need. And my entire roster list or file list includes everything you see here. Again, I do not have the 2021 NCAA 11 file yet. I'll put that on there in time. But again, the purpose of this video is about 06. So this is my current list of files. Whatever you need, mail them, your card to me, and I'll send it right back to you. The third option, and this is the best option because it's the quickest and you get everything. You can buy a brand new 128 megabyte card for me, and it will have every single roster file I have, including the 06 roster files. Again, I will get the 11 one later on. So this is the quickest, best, most efficient way to get all these, especially if you are new to these games. You can have them all right there in a few days and you're ready to rock and roll. So having said all that, let's talk about the actual files. I want to bring up a couple of points about these files. The first thing is let's talk about certain positions. Let's go straight to fullbacks. Now, as you see here, it's got plenty of fullbacks in the game but for this file. But if you notice, the number one fullback in the country, according to this file, is a 90 overall. You think there'll be a bunch of them in the 90s, but you got to remember this is 2021. A lot of teams run spread offenses, which means they do not use many fullbacks whatsoever. So, for example, let's go to Air Force. Makes sense. They still run a flex bone offense. They need some fullbacks to do their thing. But look at Akron. Look at Alabama. Look at Arizona. There are no fullbacks. Why is that? Because, again, 
there's not many teams that run use fullbacks because they're all spread offenses of some sort. I bring that up because if you go to dynasty mode, we're going to look at the coaching profiles and we're going to see how this connects to the fullback. So that's just something to keep in mind. The next thing I want to talk about is there are a couple of positions that may have inflated rosters or ratings, I should say. For example, let's go to Arizona. You see their overall ratings for these four tight ends, 80, 72, 70, and 70. Looks pretty normal. To me, Arizona, I guess they just don't have really good tight ends. But let's talk about NCAA 14. There are more attributes slash ratings for that game than there are in 06. For 06, there's what, 20 of these, 19, however many they are? Well, there are probably 30 of them for 14. I may be real high on that number, but you know what I'm talking about. Well, when Android converts these files, he has to put those numbers somewhere. Now, he doesn't do it specifically. It's just the conversion process itself. Well, since those extra numbers have to go somewhere, again, they got to go somewhere. For example, look at all these break tackles. There shouldn't be many tight ends in the game that have that good of break tackle ratings. This is like good halfback type break tackle ratings. Something to keep in mind is, that, like, again, break tackle. There may be a couple other ratings. Uh, I haven't looked super hard. Jump may be another one that's pretty high. I don't think all these tight ends are that really good on the jump. Carry rating. Tight ends aren't supposed to be able to carry the ball super well, yet these are decent numbers. I bring that up is because remember these four numbers, 80, 72, 70, 70. Let's go to depth chart and see what these look like. You go over the tight end and look what happened. 99 overall, 87, 88, and the fourth one was 86. All of these guys jumped up because of these other ratings that I talked about. Again, the NCAA 14 didn't know where to put these numbers. They kind of had to put them somewhere if not, they put them where they're supposed to be, but they don't really relate to tight ends. For example, break tackle, all of them in the 70s are better. So you go back up to rosters. We'll go back to Arizona. And we'll go to tight end. Now look, they moved them back all the way up to 99 overall, 88, 87, 86. So certain positions, tight end is one defensive end is another one fullback may be the last one the rest of them i think are pretty good now some may get spooked by this and saying hey this ruins my dynasty or whatever technically it doesn't in a sense you got to remember this happens to every team in the game so it's not like there is an advantage or a disadvantage over one or the other so it's pretty much a wash but i just want you to keep in mind of what you may see when you go into this, there, again, there may be other positions that may do the same thing. All this will get flushed out of the system after a few seasons in your dynasty anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. Now, you would think this 99 overall tight end is like the greatest tight end ever. But the most important ratings for a tight end did not change. His speed stayed the same. Awareness didn't change. Uh, his catch stayed at 80. And those are about the only important ratings for a tight end. He's got decent run block, but again, it's just 70 overall, so that's not all that great. So don't feel like this is going to ruin your game much. I don't think it will because, again, the only uh, ratings that this guy will use is those the ones I mentioned, except for, again, break tackle. You may see more tight ends break more tackles than usual. That's kind of it. They may be able to jump a little bit better. But again, this happens to every team. It's a wash. Tight end, I think this happens to fullback. I haven't experimented with it yet. It, I went through an older file from like three years ago for like the 2018 season. It happened to fullbacks. It also happened to defensive ends. So again, just keep that in mind when you use this file. The last thing I want to talk about, well, first of all, let me go to one other thing. Let's go to the entire roster for Arizona. Notice this center has an impact status. That is technically incorrect. NCAA 06 doesn't know where to put that impact status on these new guys. You would think, hey, we got a 99 overall tight end. He probably needs an impact player status. What it does is if you go back to the roster file that I was using before, it probably has an impact center of some sort or I could have maybe gotten that wrong. But again, just don't 
expect your impact status on these players to be accurate. Otherwise, it would be on this tight end, this outside linebacker, and probably another tight end, or maybe even a kicker, since we know what that's like with my Hawaii dynasty. So that's another to keep in mind. As far as I know, the last thing I want to show you is dynasty mode. I want to bring up a couple of things. We're going to go to load. We're going to go to my current Hawaii file. We're going to continue with that saving. So when you save those files and you go back to those depth charts and those tight ends and defensive ends go up and you save it, it is what it is. So just something to keep in mind. Now, the last thing I want to show you is we go to coach options. The My biggest beef with all of these PlayStation 2 NCAA football games is coaching profiles are only built-in dynasty mode files. You cannot edit these outside of dynasty mode. If you could, that would be amazing, but we can't. For example, you go to Arizona. The game still thinks it is running a balanced offense. It's running the Arizona playbook, but we know better. Arizona probably runs your pseudo spread offense like all these other teams do. They probably need to be running the Florida offense. The Florida offense in this game has all of the shotgun formations, or pretty much, I think, all nine slots are gun sets. They probably need to be going spread, you know, things like that. So if you want to match your roster file to these coaching profiles, you got to start a brand new dynasty file and change these and update them. That goes back to the dynasty mod that Android was mentioning and that other guy was fooling around with. If you want to get into that, do it manually. If not, wait on those guys to do it. Or if you don't care, then don't worry about this stuff. Because again, with Arizona not having any fullbacks on their roster, what's going to happen in their first offseason when they're going to bring in a bunch of commitments? They're going to load up on a bunch of fullbacks because they are picking the balanced offensive type. So again, I just want to bring this up. That way you will be aware of what you may see down the road a few seasons in. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed all that. What I plan on doing is we're going to back out of here. In the future, I, I'm knee-deep in the Hawaii Dynasty, so nothing's going to change with that. But in the future, I am going to run a Dynasty with these updated rosters. Why not? That should be a whole lot of fun. And I'm going to speed this up a little bit. And you go back to the rosters. There is a very good chance I may finally run a dynasty with my beloved Tennessee Volunteers. The reason why I've never done that in the in for this the channel is because Tennessee is amazingly good in this game, and I think I would win quite a bit out of the gate. But you go to Tennessee's roster, look at these, these uh, tight ends. They're all inflated. Again, don't let that spook you. I don't think it changes too much of anything. But the rest of the roster, everybody's in the 80s or below. We don't have the best talent in the world, but we've had a decent season. This gives me incentive to maybe run a dynasty with Tennessee or whoever because now I can maybe want to experiment running the Josh Heupel's beer and shoot with Hendon Hooker and Tyon Evans who transferred out, Jabari Small and the like. Again, this just breathes new life into your dynasties. Can you imagine? We can go to Oklahoma. as a decent example. Lincoln Riley just left. There's Spencer Rattler and there's Caleb Williams. Go nuts with these guys if you're an Oklahoma fan. Now you got a whole new set of rosters to fool with. That opens up more options for playbooks, offensive schemes, defensive schemes, you name it. It just opens up so many doors. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed all that. Hopefully this was helpful. Use that link that I talked about before. I'll have it in the description box, and I'll always have it linked on the site. And please be patient for those of you who are still watching this. Please be patient for those who are going to buy a card for me. I have quite a few cards, but I will need to order more. I can see a big mad rush at these possibly to where it may take me longer to one than three business days to send you your card. I'll email you if for whatever reason it takes longer. But again, just be patient as I go through all these, depending on how much uh, people want to order these. All right. Thank you all. And I'll talk to you later.